All right, we're going down here. I'm getting in the dually because we're going to the junkyard. That is if I can find the keys for it. That sounds pretty cool. I'm bringing Mrs. Heavy Chevy with me. And we made it. Let's see what we can find. What are you doing? Just following you around the junkyard. Mr. Heavy Chevy has a little red wagon. There's one treasure. Here's another. Yep, I'm getting greasy. And there's this. Usually they poke holes in the gas tanks on these though. Why do they do that? So there's no EPA liability. Alright, let's go this way. 
You found it? Go. All right, moving right along. Kind of got to do this quickly. Got a late start, but for a good reason. It's got a dash in it. It's the first one I've seen yet. Now, if we had more time, mm-hmm, LS motor. Right here, 65 Duke Skylar. Little V6. Huh? I don't see that every day. All right, moving right along. Well, look at that, Goody. Well, it came a little late to be completely effective, but I did get some stuff I needed, so that's good. Well, the biggest score I got, I guess, is the power steering lines. And I did get a mirror for the other piece of junk I got out there. I already installed it. Um, I'm going to pull the power steering pump off and a couple of these pulleys and the alternator. I'm going to paint that water pump, since it's not been painted, and clean up that power steering and paint it. And maybe go ahead and route the power steering lines. It's getting kind of late. I'm not going to get much more than that done. But it'll be something. Little Miss has been up here and she's down in the dumps. <laughs> Say something like, have a special day. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> have a special day. <laughs> she's afraid she's lisping. <laughs> Have a special day. Clearly the person who invented Invisaligns didn't have to wear them. Oh, I bet they had to wear braces and tried to think of something better. <laughs> have a special day this Sunday. Say that. <laughs> have a special day this Sunday. That's so sweet. <laughs> You're so, so cute. <laughs> okay. I'm too old for Invisaligns. I can't wear them no more. They're made to fit anyone and anyone. anyone the ship's and done sailed with me. I ain't gonna get no better looking. <laughs> Which makes me sad. <laughs> hey, say that is a super good looking truck. That is a Ooper, really ugly truck. It's not an ugly truck. This is a good looking truck. It's not a sticker. What? What's that? It's not an icker. <laughs> you know, ever since she was a little girl, she likes playing with a vice. She's not a little girl anymore. 
but she still likes playing with the vice. <laughs> Alright, I asked her a minute ago, I said, do you know what this is? She said, no, I don't. I said, it's a PCV valve. And I said, do you know what PCV stands for? And she said, no, I don't. Because there was no S's, she didn't lisp any. And I said, would you like, to like for me to explain it to you? And she said, yes. If I can get you her said away. it wrong. Oh, I did. Yes. Yes, Dad. Please tell me what's up, is what she had said. <laughs> so if you'll step away from the vice, let's, let's go over here and see what's up. <laughs> Okay, PCV stands for Positive Crankcase Ventilation. Do you know why we might need that? Well, to make a long story short, the pistons move up and down, there's lots of explosions in there, and stuff gets past the rings and comes up to the top of the motor. And in the old days, they had a road draft tube that just went down low. And it dripped on the ground. And the air passing by it. And as you were wrong. Well, it did drip on the ground when you were sitting there idling. But the air going down the road would draw air past it, and those fumes would just go into the atmosphere. But we all want to save the earth, right? And sure. some people do that in the form of driving Priuses and eating vegan food. But more power to them. That's more gas for me if you drive a Prius. More meat for me. Yeah, and more meat for me. So, <clears throat> but in our case, we utilize a positive crankcase ventilation system. And this PCV valve goes in the top of the valve cover where these gases are present, present, and it pulls a vacuum, not too much at idle, because it can't have a big air leak or it'll lean out the fuel mixture too much. But as you're going down the road, it draws those fumes back into the carburetor. But since it's pulling a vacuum here, it has to have a breather on the other side because if you remember from science class every action for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction so if you're taking something away something's got to go back in so that's how it works and it reburns the fumes inside the engine Does that make any sense to you it did are you enlightened now do you feel super smart? <laughs> yeah, me neither. My battery's going dead. I put a new one in. You've got such a sweet smile. <laughs> Is that the product of your labors at the Vice? Mm -hmm. It's a bottle cup. Not anymore. <laughs> ah, the joy. I think I'm going to call it quits. I painted the water pump black, put the pulley back on. I painted the power steering pump over yonder. Paint ain't dried yet. Put my little bracket on right here. I tipped over a bin of stuff all over the floor. Picked that up. But I think I'm going to call it a night. I think I'm going to call it a night. Is that okay with you, girl? Sure. Or would you prefer to stay up here and play with the vice? We could always put it in my room. No. I'm picking. Hey, I do have an extra vice, though. We could put one in your room if you'd like. Not sponsored. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, girl. <laughs> All right, are you too big to ring the bell, or can you do that? Now say, that's all, folks. That's all, folks. Say it louder so we can hear you. That's all, folks. See, I didn't hear no lisp. I did.